the only thing black people value, really, because we've been trained, is what? Impressing other black people. That's as far collectively as our thoughts go. Truth be told, that's a painful truth. But we got to make a priority, replace the system of white supremacy with justice. That has to be the priority. We got to get out of what we call that whole thing about black culture, because black culture is about one thing. If we tell the truth, look at it, just don't believe what I'm saying, just look at what we actually do. Once we get just a few steps ahead, just like little ch- children playing with toys in Toyland, we run around trying to impress each other. That's like slaves rattling their chains at the bottom of the ship, saying, my chains are shinier than yours, telling the other slave that. And sometimes get into a bragging thing that leads to an argument. And there they are banging each other over the head with their chains. And we are still in that state of mind in 2016, worldwide, truth be told. We don't have any ambition that goes beyond one black person trying to impress another black person any way that we can, including just going in and shooting up the place. That makes an impression. I killed him. I killed a whole bunch of black guys over there in the bar tonight, and I got away. Ha, ha, ha. Hooray for me. Now I got a reputation around the hood. That's as far as our minds go. And in business, the same thing. In every area of activity, you don't know nothing. I know everything. How many times do you hear that in a black barber shop? Oh, man, you don't know nothing. I've been, to, I've been to New York. I've been to Paris. You don't know what I know. One Negro showing off to another Negro. Black people making a priority for their entire lives of showing off their shiny chains that were put on them by the white supremacists to other black people and calling it life. That's what my life is all about. I was able to impress a few of my so-called friends and a few people who didn't know me, who got to know me now, and they're all black, and they are impressed with my so-called progress, and hooray for me, I have arrived in heaven on earth. Truth be told, that is as far as our ambition goes. And the white supremacists looked at this little childish stuff and say, Negroes forever. I got them right where I want them. Because our ambition is to conquer the entire universe, if we can, and everything in it. And if there are 50,000 universes out there, we're going to conquer them too. Even if there's nobody on those planets, we'll just call them ours anyway. Why? Because we are super people. We don't have shallow minds. We don't have shallow goals. A Negro, all he wants to do is strut up and down the block and show off the little things that I allowed him to have, show these things off to some other downtrodden Negro and say, I'm better than you, and that's good enough for me.